Okay, so once again, let us uh, focus on our task for today. This is our last session 9. Okay, so since this is our ninth last session, our focus is really, in last sessions, our focus is really to improve instruction. Okay, so one of the things that is very common to improving instruction is how to facilitate. So Mona, ang ato ang title karon for this last session is facilitative, facilitative teaching learning process. So this will be a very interactive activity. We will have worksheets to work on. So please get ready with your ball pens or pencils. Okay. So rationally, uh, why are we here? Because we want to focus. Uh, because the school focus is to ensure delivery of educational services. It doesn't matter on sa kahugaw ang computer, basta gigamit lang. Pero, you know, that is also one of the factor. Okay? We don't want to go inside a classroom which is dirty. Pero one of the major things is, are we as a teacher doing our best to really improve our educational services? Because that is the core of why we are here. Second, both, uh, but how is quality of education achieved? So that's one of the questions we need to ensure. Are we doing our best? To really get the quality or are we just okay with you know giving the students what they want to know and waiting for them to really learn the things that they need to to learn for that school year okay so are we doing all our best already that's number one question so is this the quality that our children deserve then, effective facilitation of teaching learning process. So, we can only achieve quality if effective ang atong style of facilitation. Okay? Okay. Mr. Kamawat is a third grade teacher in a primary school. He has been teaching for five years. He loves teaching and consider it his vocation. I think both of them loves uh, teaching. He believes the students have their own unique abilities. So, lailain ang mga bata kung no, that they can help develop by giving them opportunities to learn and practice their skills. He feels that the students has a much to teach him as he them. So, mas daghan ko no, pwede matudlo sa dang iyang mga bata niya. Okay? So, he encourages students to ask questions and plan activities. So, they are the ones being asked. They can, they can ask questions and uh, that will enable them to apply new, new lessons to practical situations. He gives his students opportunities to work in groups and then come up with projects that further explore their new skills. As Mr. Kamalwat encourages students to discover their potentials, he also makes sure that he rediscovers himself by enrolling in professional development uh, available courses for teachers. So that is... Okay, let's try to uh, share... Uh, what are the beliefs about good teaching for Mr. Kamalwat? Yes. To answer, can sa iyang ako kan ng student centered siya sir kay he believes man that he will learn from his student also man sad niya kan ng kwan sa dang mga students kay kan ng Actively, kay, kanang active sila nga nagkanang perform, naglearn, nga na ba? Okay, in contrast, how about the other teacher, Mrs. Prince Corn? What is his belief? What is his stand, her standard of good teaching? Survey. Okay, um, Mrs. Prince Corn, okay. Is, uh, she is a teacher centered and she believes that. The source of information is the teacher itself. Okay, so we are not classifying yet how or which one is better or not. We're just trying to uh, try to classify what are their ideas of good or bad teaching. Next is what is their beliefs about students. Okay, so how about uh, Mr. Kamalwat? What is his belief about students? Yes, uh, Mamagi. Come on, come on, come on. 
students of Mr. Kumal Watsar is, you know, he or she, I, he believes that um, uh, students needs to explore in order for them to learn. Yeah, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, they only need supervision when it comes to learning. So it means uh, the, the teacher should be only the facilitator. Okay, very good. How about Mrs. Prince Akorn? Manzo, what do you think? Unsa itan only Prince Akorn for for the students? Maybe sir, kay spoon feed siya in regards with her students. Kay she's always discussing. Maybe. Okay, and we also see here she thinks that students are yes passengers and. They are, what are they? Passive receivers or empty vessels. Uh, they are like a container of uh, any container that needs to be filled with knowledge. Okay, so that is his or yes, meaning oh, resudlan lagi ni mo kay mo malagi tawag principle na tabula rasa. Okay, kanung na mo and then wala pa dito na preferred class activities. What is the preferred class activity for Mr. Uh, Kamulwat? Sige. Ah, okay, so we have group. Uh, but for uh, Mrs. Prince Acorn, lecture. Okay. So how about beliefs about students? Mananino? Then learning goals for students. What do you think is the goal for Mr. Kamulwat? Yes, according to Sir Villarin, uh, it's skill base. Okay, kinalan skill. How about for Mrs. Prince Acorn? Unsa man ang yahang goal for the students? Okay, so how would you describe ang bata nga puno? Daghan na memorize. Ah. Okay, di ni kaya di kisya ka process of information. Ah. Walay analysis more on memorize. Okay. Uh, next is goal, goals for self improvement. Si Prince Akorn as si Mr. Kamal Wat ng sa may hanggalahan. He because he enrolled in professional development. How about Mr. Mrs. Prince Akorn. She wanted promotion. <laughs> but she doesn't want to. Uh, there was no mention of uh, studying, no. Pero she wants, because she thinks she's already very smart. Okay, why, why do we need to study? Uh, she's already very smart. Okay? So those are the difference between. All right. Okay, let's try to examine our personal beliefs. Don't be afraid to give your personal note.
Okay, you can use Tagalog. Bisaya, pwede saan. Okay. So, I hope that what you are writing is really your personal belief. Okay? Because we will act based on our personal beliefs. Okay? So, we just want you to, we are just hoping that we can be honest. This is just a form of open forum ba? So, your principle as a teacher, um, we can manifest it by saying our philosophy. Okay? So, this is actually your philosophy for teaching. Okay? So, what are the components of your philosophy? First are your beliefs. Okay? What is good teaching for you? And then, because that is your belief, then you have your preferred activities as a teacher. And that will manifest on the way you discuss to your students, the way you design activities, and then your beliefs about students. Okay? So, nasa na lang ng component sa atong tanaw sa mga bata? Dayon, unsay mga goal na to para sa mga bata? And then, what is your goal for yourself? Okay? Can I listen to any volunteer? Nga mamino, taha, sa mo present. So, not just too long, just share your philosophy. Okay? Anyone would like to start? Mamagi. Thank you kay ma'am for being so active. Three minutes, ra. Okay. Beliefs about good teaching. Tinudan na yun niya. Charot. Good teaching is when students could still remember what they've learned in class and they can apply it in their life or they put it into action. Okay. Um, my preferred class activities are... Um, actually, I really like inquiry-based learning activities, but in our case, in the the scenario, we are far from the kanang kom, kanang the internet cafes, the ba? 21st century skills really need those kanang and kanang internet connection, but um, due to the distance, mo sa wala. And then group activities that can develop their uh, through through group. Through group activities, they can develop their individualities. So, they will work as a group, and but the, but at the same time, they can develop by the by the by themselves. And then for beliefs about students, I believe that students are teachers' reflection. So, if what kind of a teacher you are, I get uh, you are in your class, can I? During class, that will be the your, that will be the attitude of your students, I guess. Isn't that good? And then they are like plants that needs nurturing for them to grow as individual. And the learning goals for students is that they will learn, they will learn it, they will learn in their own with enough supervision of a teacher. And the goals for me in my self improvement is that I need to enhance my skills to. Different, I uh, through in, through involvement of different uh, activities such as seminars, workshops, and most especially proceed graduate studies for professional development. Kanang guilty kay Connie, why? Because I really love to, a bit of honest, to be honest. Tbh, I really love, um, I really love attending some attending seminars. But um, when I was still Kanabitang dalaga, but in this time, mga good, there are times nga circumstances is that kanang kung familia do na kay night times nga kanang mga kuan katungut sa imuhang kuan sir ba? Nga family, naay kanang kuan sa familia, then just like atong, to be honest, katong ganata kay kuan atong mga kuan atong sa science, bitaw da yun. Kanang kay dagan man tog nakuha si mam choy atong science, sir, kay parehas na mo, karo walabi, may kakuan sa kitutog nga. Kanang sa science, kaya akong na-attendan ato is English man to, katong M to. So, kakuan ko nga, nindod yun ang tayo-involve atong self, ana. pero kanang may tapuhon-puhon, makakuan ko, Ana. Okay, beliefs about good teaching. 
good teaching for me enables the students to interact with one another. It also enables to express students' ideas not just because of what the teachers want them to do. Then they can apply, also apply the, this to real life situation. And for our preferred class activities, I just want to have group activities wherein students can share their opinions and they can apply their learning through those. And then also some games. Um, beliefs about students. I believe that students have their own unique abilities that the teachers should um, um, uh, teacher should encourage the students to koan, to pagawas, okay, to go out from their shell. And learning goals for students. I want my students to discover their abilities just through my help and to their peers also. Goals for self-improvement. Um, I want to study in the graduate school for self-improvement. And I also want to attend a lot of seminars and trainings for uh, my improvement too. Okay, so beliefs about good teaching for me. Wait. <laughs> okay, so according opinion, huh? So it molds the attitude of the students into practical use in real life situation because uh, nowadays, mga students are very kuana. Kabawa na mong sana sila. Grabe ka gahi. That's why nga part sa teacher grabe ka practical sad. Then it changed the students into better life per or the better person. So mao na kung panglanto sa kung good teaching. Maka mold ko student into a uh, practical student soon. Then, pr preferred class activities and siyempre, uh, 21st century man, so group activities, then games, collaboration with students. So, that's why nga students need budget o giya sa mga maister. Beliefs about student. So, I believe that students are siyempre, baby pa jud because they need our help and guidance. Then, for me, sad, ako lang puno, they are philosopher because Kabawa naman siguro mo siya philosopher. Saan ang philosopher, ma'am? <laughs> so, mawag siya akong students. Then, learning goals for student uh, to become a better person in the future. And then, uh, syempre, I want them to learn by doing. So, correct. So, he is my idol. Char. Joke lang. Then, goals for self-improvement, di ay. So, syempre, Ako lagi puna ng self improvement attend self improvement seminar and then uh, pinaka lastly uh, enrolled master classes simply nowadays needs needs magkita nato and then pinaka last yun uh, accept uh, feedbacking from our superior to improve ourselves thank you um, good afternoon sorry <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the views and opinion of the coach. Okay, for the record. Kanang teaching philosophy. Beliefs about the good teaching. <laughs> okay, my, my personal belief. Good teaching is not always uh, teaching the subject, but also nurturing and instilling them the values to help them become a better citizen in the country. Right, Maggie? <laughs> Preferred class activities. Peer third. <laughs> Peer chattering group activity. Okay. Believe about students. Students need uh, students need guidance. For students who are attention seekers in school, might be a neglected child at home. So man atong huna huna on ha. Maybe they are attention seekers, siri. Kay wala na sila gi kuan sila ha. Then learning goals for students. Teaching them the knowledge they need to know. Aside from discussing the topic, give them a real life situations that will make them prepare for the future. Okay, goals for self improvement. Kanang more relaxation. Pursue graduate studies. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon. <laughs> Okay, so beliefs about good teaching. So I believe that as a teacher, the students um, best learn 
in our class when they try to explore then kana mag experiment sila or especially in science yeah, in english so kung maka perform gud sila og mga something okay and then especially sa the mga bata my goal is to um to touch their heart okay so preferred class activity Students, um, activities that would invo involve them and make them active and participate, like uh, group discussion, games, collaborative activities. So I believe that students um, will be able to um, learn by doing, by John Dewey, and then put their their activities into the real life situation. That learning goes for students. Students will learn easier when they are guided and facilitated by the teacher. So goes for self improvement. So I would in, I would try to kanang be maningkamot nga mahuma na nga mo ang graduate studies and then open to any ideas from the school head and to the colleague. So I would also put my heart in my career as a teacher. Thank you. Believe that was good teaching. What am I doing? Boy praise, na sir. Okay, so dapat kay student center then. That's like cooperative learning. Next, preferred class activities. Learning by doing and group activities. Next, beliefs about students. They are diverse. So, since diverse sila, so therefore, they line nga approach ang ato ang gamiton. Next, learning goals for students. So, develop their critical thinking skills and analytic, analytical skills and can apply it in real life situations. Then, goals for self improvement. Uh, attend seminars. Dayon. Mutiwa sa koan, master, masteral, dayon, accept feedback sa school head. Maganda nga po sa lahat. <laughs> okay. Beliefs about good teaching. Para lang itanan. <laughs> Student-centered cooperative learning environment and have a good classroom management. Preferred class activities, interactive discussions, group activities, giving or throwing critical thinking questions, and let the students create their own generalizations about a concept. Beliefs about students, I believe that they are diverse, unique, Empty vessels, then interactive needs supervision also. Learning goals for students, they data or information that they need for real life and can create their own way of learning. Goals for self-improvement, can observant needs supervision adapt new strategies for 21st century learners and study graduate school. Thank you, Char. Okay, my beliefs about good teaching is uh, the learner has its own goals and objectives. The learner has acquired learning skills. The learner is motivated and self growth improvement. Then the preferred class activities is think, pair, share activities. Kay maka express man sila not through sharing sad. Then <laughs> beliefs about students. Kay. They will be able to learn what they want to learn. Then, eagerness, na sila, eagerness, nga makakat on sad. Then, learning goals for students, that they will become professional. Then, they will use what it, what's been instilled in them. Then, sa goals for self-improvement, that I will become an effective teacher. Then, more, I learned more strategies for me to improve. Thank you, Ma'am Joan.
Okay, um, let's start with beliefs about good teaching. Uh, good teaching for me is a teacher as a facilitator of learning and at the same time creates a student-friendly environment where students are free to express their God. Because based on my experience, kay, ang mga bata lisod magkipas three out. So what I did is an oral recitation, one question that will be addressed to everyone para ma-encourage sila. So at first, na yung resistance, pero later on, kanang nindot na yung kay sir, kay mo tabi na yung halos na nan, sir. Uh, preferred class activities kay group works, of course, kung padung na ang kuan periodical exam. Uh, one of my technique, ang ang score is uh, peer discussions. Ako'y pari so ka ng mga kuan, dili, mentally challenged. Oh. So, ipares mo sila dyan. Unsa ang score sa pare, pares, may score nilang duha. So, ang magtuon ang katong kuan, punan niya ang katong kuan, sir, mas kuan, week of kuan, habit. So, niyana dyan ko sa mga bata nga. I always believe na walay taong bugo sa taong magtuon. So, if they will only study, makakatun dyan na sila. And, mauna akong believe as a student. So, learners are unique individual that has specific needs and different level of understanding. They really need our attention and love. So, kinang nalato yun ang gugmao na itong mga studyante. So, once we establish our rapport to the students, we will be able to immerse in their lives and makarelate yun sa nila. And learning goals for students, of course, they will be able to acquire the 21st century skills. And as an educational service provider, we will be able to help them, scaffold them, na asla yung mastery sa competency sa atong subject kay I always believe in the philosophy of scaffolding sir kay ang akong first grading more most yun as ya kanang remembering ang rason yun ako na sir kay mo develop ilang study habit so once ma develop ilang study habit ang like second grading sugod na ko kanang analysis and so on so once ma scaffold yun as ya na yung creativity yun mahuman and goals for self improvement uh, though I'm geared towards professional and personal development I always view life as simple and short, so personal satisfactions gives more weight for me as a teacher. Thank you. Okay, beliefs about teach good teaching. Sako uh, that teacher should be a facilitator of learning in order to inculcate the lessons well. Um, the teacher will develop his his or her professional growth through studying, apply, uh, attend seminars and trainings. Preferred class activities. Mama or sir. Collaborative activities. Mama or ma sila ha? Mura magkabipit. Cooperative activities. Then, nakasulay ko ani pag first grading, katong fair tutoring, kay namay mga special students at sa Archimedes. So, ang pinaka bright is Ah, oh, ingon nila na to, may nakadungog. Kay pare sa kunta, inay jud kayo nya. Nakuan jud siya kay ang katong bright, maning kamot man kay mo may grado, pero pinili ang sad nga bata. And then, sa so mga learning goals for students. So, um I believe that to develop their intellectual skills and technical skills, especially sa mga sa PLE, that can be useful to their real life in order to become a good citizen in the future. And whatever available resources can be used related to the lesson. Na ilang makatunan. Then goals for self improvement. Then, ah, uh, for me, I think I need to enhance my teaching skills and teaching strategy and also classroom management in order to become a productive facilitator and teacher in the future. Okay. <laughs> Sige. Uh, beliefs about good teaching. Ako ah, kay Kanisha. Students should learn. Yung ma-learn dyan sila. <laughs> then students learn when they experience it. Kaya mas more man sila maka oh, maka-learn kung ilahang nasuway, nasuway yan. Then, preferred class activities, kay the same ra, collaborative activities, and for tutoring, kay mas kwan sila, more on, makalearn sila man with the kanang help of the group. Then, beliefs about students, kay 
students have their own knowledge, then they can learn with their own, but with the supervision of the teacher. Then learning goals for students, guy, enhance enhance ilahang knowledge. Then kuansad self confidence, kay murag kanang monikulangan. Then goals for self improvement, kay ako open for feedbacks. Then attend seminars. Dili lang kay mo attend ng seminar kanang involve sa dimo ang kogalingon nga char. Kaya sometimes, kaya attend a seminar, kaya mga ten roman, ang pinaka-best part kaya snacks and lunch. Mawa siya na itinood. Di ba? Most ba? Wala na ako gigeneralize. Mawa man na good ka sa garan niya. Wala tayo na learn sa seminar. Di, di. Napamayuban. Then, pursue graduate school. Graduate school studies. Hapon sa nan. Sa di pa nga nakusub dyan, ato na yung hangman nun. May hapon, usab. Beliefs about good teaching. So, I believe that kanyang a good teacher is able to kanyang atong mabalhin ang atong knowledge o skills sa atong sudyante ba? Kung unsa atong naibawan, Makaibaw ito sa dyante, makaibaw sila sa skills, o gantong buwan. Kamo na ito. Then, preferred class activities. Group activities, games, and reporting. So, to improve their self-confidence, kinahanglan sa taan ng reporting sa high. Then, beliefs about students. So, pareha na ito teachers, ang students, they have also their own knowledge and skills. But ang students, they... Ilang skills of knowledge needs to be kanang improved. So kinahanglan sila nato ng teachers para mo guide nila. Then learning goals for students. So ang goal for the students is to improve and enhance their knowledge and skills. And then lastly for goals for self improvement, attend seminars, cooperative learning with colleagues, and sessions with the school head. Okay, let's give a round of applause to everyone. So you have actually provided us with a lot of information about your personal beliefs. Okay, so I just have a few questions for us to ponder lang ha. Um, do we need internet collection in order to do inquiry-based learning? That's a question that we need to answer. Okay, let's try to find out ha. Okay, if we, do we really need internet connection in order to do that? Okay, so what is your personal opinion, sir? Not at all times, siguro sir, pero na siguro yung topic niya, kinanglang internet connection. But um, if we will be basing it sa inquiry base, uh, it should be localized. So, ato lang i-relate siguro. Pero na yung uban topic siguro sa science, sir. Especially ka ng mga typhoon, which ka ng mga, mga terminologies ba. Mag sige tagpangutana niya, mga bata, what sa jud kay Bao. Ang learning materials, mga good, is gamay rin kayo, ma'am, no? Limited rin kayo. So, unlike sa kay, ay katungkuhan, but the answer is not at all times. Okay, so who will do the internet uh, researching? Can, can we do it? But okay. in our case, we can already do it. Okay. Ikaw, ma'am. Sige. Uh, instead of the teacher will kanang search that on the net, it is better if the student will do it. Okay. But can we provide them with materials wherein they can search within our classroom? Like, we can post, we can print ahead of time. That's possible. Explore the possibility. Okay, another one. Uh, let's try to check. When we do masteral, when we get feedback from our superiors, what is the starting point for that? I think it was mentioned by one of you that we need to start with letter A. Yes. Uh, no matter what the school head will say, if we don't accept, then... And the moment that you enroll to masteral class, meaning you are subjecting yourself to sessions like this, you listen and long hours of. But at the end of the day, when you do masteral, what you can never learn if you don't do this. So this is the essence. Okay. Very good philosophy. As a teacher, you need to transfer. Sir Lou Willing, a philosophy, no teacher, transfer to the students. 
Pero is this a smooth flow? It's a rocky road. So if you were to represent it, Anna, you know, naghan kaayo ko, Anna, usay mga gani, atong instruction will not reach the child. Yes, needs a lot of patience. Okay, so mo to know, uh, we also, Sir uh, Villera shared to us this one, this concept. What is this? Let's read. Make an environment where they are free to express. So, I think Sir Villarin has tried, I think kita man tala, nag-struggle man tala, hindi ka na ganing mungutan na kayo, magsigara ang mata. Okay? <laughs> Kanang, you know, there are many factors to that. The same with this, if it's very, it's a rocky road, kana asang pag-express nila, daghan kita consider number one, mauwaw, kita gani mo, gunit ang mic, mauwaw mo gani na. Katong minyonan, pag-practice gin mo gunit ang mic, Labi na mamag expert na <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, mo ganit, ano? How much more our students? Just imagine how much is their struggle. Okay? Oh, si ma'am, uwa pa ganit yung gunit mic, pero every last session, magiging anita, maana na ni si ma'am gunit yung mic. Okay? So, it's a very hard, pero it's a very hard process. But I think Sir Villarin's class, iyan ang gi-establish nga, unsa mag sa mani mo, sir, nga, you are free to have wrong answers. Okay? It all starts with that. Okay? And then, let's just critique our ideas. You know, let's talk about idea, like, ma'am, ma'am, Maggie has an idea, then, let's talk about it. Do you, what do you think about that? Okay? Pero, let's try to talk about it without hurting each other. Okay? okay? There's, that's a skill. Okay? That's still a skill. Right? Okay? Taka nung ka eh, ano yung mga, oops, no, that's not how to academically argue. Okay, so there are many ways to really, and you see here, in order to, I really like this part, oh, like, Ma'am Joy told us about KSP students, and na siya pakapin nga statement, na ano istorya ng nung KSP na sila. Okay, so what does that tell us? It means that every child, <laughs> special has a special story within that person and we need to really get to know the person ano ka na siya nung anong magpatagad mang gyud sige pa cute maybe the reason is there's a long story behind it that if you were on the shoes of the child you will end up the same okay then sir Villarin shared to us peer learning i've really witnessed this in his class okay personally nakabantay ko ani Iya, magnaning gitong mga, like si Jima, like si Gigitokyo. Uy, tarunang yun. So you see the effort, but you see, we are developing students. Like Jema is already developing. Isa pa ng mga maayong uh, koan. They are developing because of those techniques. Okay? Pwede kayo papaktis yung gila sila ra. Imagine that. So that is a product of your efforts. Okay? So that's why I'm proud of what you are all doing. Okay? Pero imagine kung kita tanan mag, maggamit ang mga strategy. All of us. Okay? I think all of us are already doing it. Okay? So, another question is, um, how much is our beliefs affecting our, uh, our philosophy affecting the way we teach? How much? Does it have a big impact? Okay? The way we see our students has a big impact on how we deliver instruction. Okay? So, when he works with one, teaching philosophy, we're done with this. Okay? So, what is facilitative teaching? Let's try to read it. Okay? It's teaching that guides, instigates, motivates students to learn. But I will tell you this. In our sessions later on, we will learn exactly how to ask questions, how to motivate, Okay? E sige, kung ingon niyo, kung sa'yo ba, mapulaan ta kayo si Sir Levy, sige, ingon nga, pag cooperative learning, lagi mo. Pag kuan, lagi mo, pero, ang sa'yo man. Okay? So, there are steps that we will be learning. Okay? Then, the facilitated teacher effectively implements appropriate instructional strategies and creates a positive learning environment in the classroom. It's highlighted here. Make an environment where they are free to express themselves. Okay? And then, the box below describes the role of a facilitative Teacher. So what do we do? First, we provide a meaningful context for learning where lessons are framed 
by context of students' life situations. So, if possible, it's related to their life. And then, encourage hands-on and interactive approaches to learning activities to allow learners to think about and apply concepts that they have learned. Number three, establish learning outcomes that are clear in their intent to achieve work readiness for their uh, for the learners. Then we give learners opportunity to collaborate, negotiate, and determine their learning and assessment processes. So how do they want to be assessed? Do they want to be assessed like oral only or written? Do, you, do we give that, that, that freedom to them? Okay. Then understand learners, co-producers, or new knowledge skills. Okay, so we need to understand that we are not the only source. Just like you have given us a lot of ideas about learning or teaching, the students also should be given the chance. Okay, then use flexible teaching approaches that address different learning styles. So this is what we're going to learn uh, right now. Then value the social interactions involved with learning in groups. So by the way, not at all times. Okay, because there are students who are pareha gud niyo self directed dili kinahanglan ig by group. Pero naa sa ganahan i by group. Okay, ako personally I am an intrinsic oh, sorry, uh, introvert you go. Introvert you go. I, I love to work on my own. Di ganahan gani nga ako kuyog mo lakaw ko. Ako ra sad. That's why school ako sa una doctoral mo ana ako mag kuyog ta live in sa mo. Okay, ako ra gyud usab lakaw. Pero sa mo kan ko daghan kay tao pero I'd like to have relationships with and ang close friends lang ba? Okay? But not too many. Murag maglingugugan ko. So, <laughs> there are many ways where people learn. Okay? Oh, murag, kanang, kung daghan na kaiba, murag, sige lang ka ng group, murag, oh, kanang di, kanang mag-party. Kung pwede, ano na Diyos balay. Nga na, na mga bata sa datong ay nga na. Okay? So, they can also chat you if they want. Nang say, naibaw, ano, you can tell them to really chat you kung di ka na mutihog ang bata like, Dong, labs, wag mo kaya tingog tingog. Uh, let's talk outside, hi. Dong, chatte lang ko sa imo hang reflections sa tong lesson. Just pagpachat na nimo. Puro team ding bright ta mo chat, eh. I think sir, the dulo bright ta ni bata adi, eh. So dili sa maay mo tabi, pero ang iyang reflections sa imong gidiskas, puro team na ng lawma. So we can actually encourage that to our students. I have a um, kato si Mam Ever, di kito may sa klase na sa jante mo si Mam Ever, pero Ang iyang assignment, grabe, laum juga kayo iyang mga reflection. Okay? Oh, ilumon siya. So, that's what I do to them during my master class. I tell them, if you cannot participate in the class, you can message me your reflection of our lesson. Okay? Next is, uh, unsa may characteristics sa facilitative. Okay? Uy, nakabantay ko. Ang inyong mga feedback diri kasagaran, more on ba kang Princey corn? <laughs> Prince corn? Don't <laughs> sound again. Katong siya ba? Si Mrs. Uh, Prince of corn ba mo? Dili, no? Kasagaran ka din nyo kay peer learning, uh, ana, uh, scaffolding, na. pero naakang sir man sa self-discipline. Uy, api sa ninyo ha, kay atong mga bata ba kay murugwa ang disiplina. Nga, narabay number one yun nga, timailhan mo, saksi ko nung slide, basta na self-discipline. Okay? Mogi na yung number one. Okay? So, all of that are more on facilitation. So, we would want to become a facilitator of learning. Do you want to become one? Oh, honestly lang, we are not equipped yet with all the skills. Okay? Mabot atong gingon nga, kung unsa ito nakatunan sa mga training, I would want to share it with you. If possible, Kaya naging ma-master gina to ang, oh, yeah, na may friction yun, sir, no? More more ba ni philosophy ni Sir Louie, no? Nga ang tinood yun nga may nga teacher, kuan siyod, matransfer gina niya sa tikas or sa students ang iyahang learning. Oh, so muna, nagstruggle sa ko muna, tabang itaw ko ninyo nga. Kung unsa ako nakatunan, ma-share na ko ninyo. But I could not, like your students, you cannot let them learn if they don't listen. No, so we need to ask them to really focus. Okay? Unsa may buhaton sa facilitator of learning? Sa may buhaton? Maintains eye contact meaning, okay, tanaw din ka sa mata sa inyong mga bata. Unsa pa? You need to listen actively. Diba while you are talking, what am I doing? 
I am listening, then I am also taking down notes. Okay? What did I do? As you shared, I made a mind map out from what you have shared. Okay? Then, uh, de this demonstrate awareness of verbal and nonverbal behaviors. Like, karun, makabantay mo yung bata kay wurugwa na minaminaw. One nonverbal clue is leaning towards the door. Oh, yung sigtan ao sarilo. Oh, nanampiling. <laughs> <laughs> so, wala, no? Dag -dag -dag oh, kanda. Leaning towards you. Naminaw. Meaning, ready na ka, bata. <laughs> okay. Tagi, uh, that child is actually very eager. Uh, or committed to learn. Oh. <laughs> so, meaning, makabasa mo, anak, or naan sa bata, ganyan. Basig, habit lang ginan niya, mag-ana. Oh, o, yan, ay bata, nagabarog din, ganda, nagbag. Sir. Ang sabi, meaning, ala, mo na gitawag na non-verbal kuan cues. Then, you monitor students' activity. Then, monitor progress and provides feedback to all students. Ang sabi lang, you need to make good relationships with your students. Okay? Honest in your interpersonal relationship. Kaya dapat na mo ipakita nga real concern sa inyong mga bata. Bili rin yung nakato siya, may pag ka ng anak. So, nagita yung concern nga ipakita. Then, sa pa, understanding. Demonstrate sensitivity and responsiveness to students' personal ideas. So, kanong personal ideas? Hindi kita, uy, bawal ginamingon tagrong, ha? Uh, so, that, that could be an idea. Let's write it down. Do you think this is correct? Okay? Then, teach them how to, for example, na may gihatag na premise si Mamagi ganina, no? Okay? Nianas Mamagi nga. Wala lang internet connection, sir. So, I really love inquiry base, but it's hard for me to implement it. Okay? Pero di isa na ako ma-blame si ma'am because our knowledge for inquiry base is still dumb talk about. Okay? Ang inquiry base ko, murag na, natasa na to, college pa ta, no? And pilang to ka years ago. Yeah, di pa gin pariha nga ka nang discuss gin na to ba? Okay, ako, I was one of those demonstrator of inquiry base na gihelg yun sa DOST. Yung lumato ka tong naa si ka na nag-discover sa Planet Bio ba? Oh, I was one of the demonstrator. Okay? So, gi ka nang Inquiry base, 7 East na na siya ron. So, una, 5 East na siya. Okay? Gilang, maabot rang time, ato na siyang i-discuss. Karong inset, inig, labi na science majors. Amo na i-roll out. Dayon, atong gibuhat, atong gipresent. Okay? What do you think of this idea? Then, another child, o, oh, Sir Villar, ni comment oh, ni share siyang opinion. Okay? Pero, you need to traffic. Dili yung inig, human, mag-away sila because any idea should be tested by fire. Oh. So, para matest yun ang idea, <laughs> Sir, kami din Sir Louis, para matest yun ang idea, pwede niyo ibutang sa board. What do you think of this? Ah. Then, pwede na din mo mag-sharing. Okay? So, that's one way to facilitate. Okay? Sensitivity, yun sa pa, responsiveness to students, then demonstrate sensitivity and responsiveness to diverse cultural backgrounds. Feeling sad. Oh, careful sa dak eh. Basig ma-hurt taon ang bata nga mihatag sa idea nga what? no, there's nothing wrong about that. Okay? We can be wrong. I Even I could be wrong. Oh, Inyo sa'yo pakita nga uy, ako gani. Sige, mali akong idea. Yeah. Let them let them critic the idea. Pwede nyo tuyuon yung sayok. Do you do that? Tuyo ang sayok. Because you are testing their critical thinking skills. Tuyo ang yung sayok pa. Oh, na, mat, oh, kita ang gigawa ng sir, kuyuog sa'yo. Oh, yung ano man, oh, padayong nag-hapon. Yes, ma'am, yes. Hasang sa'yo, mag-iuyo na. Oh. <laughs> so, muna, no? Yes. Oh, according to mamagi, kung nakay sa'yo, you have to show nga ako, ano. Oh. Ah, tsunami din, ha? Karong pasag ko. Okay. Next is be uh, sorry, sir. <laughs> sorry. Be respectful. So we value each student's being unique. Show a positive regard for each student. Then accept students' feelings. Then we also show politeness to our students. Okay, polite sa kita sa tong mga bata when handling their misbehavior. Okay. Then we are knowledgeable. Okay. So you should be able to identify kung na kung ano ba sa'yo, pero ba gamay, so kinala mo, basag, yapunta. 
Okay, that's very important. Then, uh, utilize resources. Kinalang magbasa. Kinanglan mo follow the concise objectives. Provides appropriate instructional opportunities to to adapt to diverse learners. Okay? So, kinanglan, lailain atong paagi sa ato ang pag pag-facilitate sa learning. Okay? So, unsa man atong pwede buhaton? Pwede ta magamit og technology. Okay? Then we use ganina nag fill up man mo ato, di ba? That's worksheets. Okay? So you can use that one. Communicative. May ta mo maminaw, may sa ta mo story. Okay? So every philosophy affects your teaching style. Okay? So last na lang, we're going to please fill this up. Okay, please get one and pass. And choose lang, i-honest yeah, lang yung answer, hi, A, B, C, D lang. Please choose from A, B, C, D. Okay, please be honest in answering. Oh, circle the answer. You need to choose the best. By the way, there are no wrong answers. Ha? I check lang ninyo yung previous na ginabuhat. Asa mo permi ana. Okay, if we're done, we count the number of letter A's.
Okay? Start counting now if you're done. The number of letter A's. Nasa ubos ha? Dito na ito is what? Okay, so let's try to check our answers, ha? You just count. So, na na siya meaning. Ang A, that actually corresponds to a specific uh, teaching style. So, A is formal authority. So, kanang, kanang value diya sa A, mo na times nga nag-formal authority ta. Okay? So, mo na weight sa atong baga formal authoritative. Dayon, B, gani ang daghan kaayo. More on demonstrator or personal model. Okay? By the way, walay labaw nga... Kuhaan na niya? Walay labaw ani siya nga... These are just styles. Dayon, C is facilitator ta. Okay? So, kanang pinakahayas na number ninyo mo na ang inyong pinakadominant. Dayon, ang D is delegator. Okay? So, tanawan ninyo kung asa mo uh, pinaka taas. So, Try to take note. Okay? Asa, iswat niyo sa babaw, be. Say, wala. Dili, meaning you are a formal authority sometimes, pwede ka si D. So, neutral na. Manan. Pero, wala ka na demonstrator or personal model, tagsara. Okay? Okay. So, let's try to discuss what is formal authority. Anyone has an idea what will be a formal authority? Okay, let's listen to the wonderful voice of Ma'am Dirit. Let's read, Ma'am. Teachers who have a formal authority teaching style tend to focus on content. This style is generally teacher-centered, where the teacher feels responsible for, pro for providing and controlling the flow of the content, and the student is expected to receive the content. One, of, one type of statement made by an instructor with this teaching style is, I am the flashlight for my student. I elim eliminate the content and material so that my students can see the importance of the material and appreciate the dis discipline. Teachers with this teaching style are not so much concerned with building relationships with their students or enabling students to form relationships with other students. This type of teacher doesn't usually require much students' participation in class. This teaching style is often called the sage on the stage model. It's often called the sage on the stage. What do you mean by the such? Meaning, muna siya ang pinaka-bright na naka sa stage. Okay. So, kasi ka ng college instructor in any formal authority. Because they are very smart. Okay. Pero, this is also equivalent to Mr. and Mrs. Prince Acorn. So, even if we think that we want to be inquiry-based, we want to be cooperative learning, we want to be koan, sometimes, Kaya ka ng instrument kayo yung gigamit ka ron, that is uh, license and uh, gistadihan na sa mga scientists. Okay? Sa mga researchers. Good. So meaning, let's try to reflect tonight. Um, even if I want to do cooperative, I'm still being a formal authority. There are many reasons for that. What could be the reason? Number one, time consuming. Number two, there's an impossible reason. You want to be cooperative, pero gamay ang space. Number three. Patient. Sometimes, di na ito makakuha ng patience, no? Okay, it takes time. Yakapul kay si Pangutan na. Oh. So, malain. Ang mga bata, dili, ready. 
Oh, you need to set the stage for cooperative learning, manggod. Katong dimension ni Sir Villarin. Oh, pinanglan, iset pang stage sir, no? Para maka-express sila. Kay, ikaw ko no nga, ma mauaw pa ta sa usag-usa. Nga, warag, mauaw pa mo ka. Nga, masayop niya, basing naay mo, scorn na to sa toang ideas. So, we need to set the stage. So, there are many factors. Or, another factor is, walang gitakibuan sa unay na pagbuhat. Okay? Because we seldom talk about that. We just go ahead in our classroom, attack, and then finish it. Di ba? Nga, yeah. sarata mag, talk, and saan ginapagbuhat. Okay? So na, now let's listen to demonstrator, personal model. Ma'am Joy. Teachers who have a demonstrator or personal model teaching style tend to run teacher-centered classes with an emphasis on demonstration and modeling. This type of teacher acts as a role model by demonstrating skills and processes and then as a coach or guide in helping students develop and apply these skills and knowledge. Thus, the teacher is called a guide on the side. A teacher with this type of teaching style might co com comment, I show my students how to do a task properly or work through a problem and then I'll help them master the task or problem solution. It's important that my students can solve similar problems independent, independently by using and adapting demonstrated methods. Okay, so this kind of teacher provides the students with a problem and then let them solve. Yung mura siya coach of style. Okay, nga ihang ko, ay ka na, sige, saan mo ka na niyo pagsulbat, pero dili siya mo hatag o solution to the problem. So, kung yung anak mo, kisa may yung anak, daghan kayo demonstrator. Oh, coach. Okay, Ma'am Jo. Ah, Ma'am Juby. Ay, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Teachers who have a teachers who have a facilitator model teaching styles tend to tend to focus on activities. This teaching styles emphasizes student centered learning. And there is much more responsibilities placed on the students to take the initiative for meeting the demands of various learning tasks. This type of teaching styles works best for students who are comfortable with independent learning and who can actively participate and collaborative and collaborate with, with other students. Teachers typically design group activities that necess that necessity that necessitate active learning, student to uh, student to student collaboration and problem solving. This type of teacher who is also a guide on the side, like the demonstrator, will often try to design learning situation and activities that require student processing and application of course content in creative and original ways. Okay, so major niya nga difference is that he is capable of designing yun, makaplano siya mga activities nga. But at the end of the day, ang purma, ang mga bata noon, makatun yun sila ato. Okay? So muna yung ikuan sa facilitator. Then, uh, Miss Largo, delegator. Teachers who have a delegator teaching style tend to place much control and responsibility for learning on individuals or groups of students. This type of teacher, who is also a guide on the side, will often give students a choice in designing and implementing their own complex learning projects and will act in a consul consultative role. So, students are often asked to work independently or in groups and must be able to maintain motivation and focus for complex projects. 
students working in this type of setting learn more than just course course specific topics as they also must be able to work effectively in group situations and manage various interpersonal roles. Okay, so when you're a delegator, you delegate tasks to your students. Okay, so Mona siya. Uh, what do you think is the best teaching style? Anyone would like to share what for you is the best? Mom Angel, what for you is the best? For me, sir, kind of delegator. Because that I will, um, I am the one who, um, uh, and then I, kwan mong ko, delegator man ako, ah, and then I, kwan mong ko kasagaran project, I, sa, kwan sa bagu, activities pangot ko, then I just want my students to, kwan, to handle a certain kind of situation. Okay, that's very good. Ikaw, ma'am, Jo, what for you is the best? Okay. Uh, for me, it's facilitator, sir. Okay. Some, uh, kanang, say, sa kong AP is more on activity na din. Ang ako is to facilitate lang dyan nila, tagaan sila ko, okay. More on history man good na siya, then sila mismo, mo mo ka din, mo facilitate or mo guide ko on sa ilang ko. So, in facilitating, if students are sharing ideas, what do you do? You write it down. Ha, write it down on the board. So, out from their ideas, try to process them uh, in order to make a general uh, idea or a generalization. So, what can be concluded? Okay. So, if you have... So, when is the best time to be a facilitator or a delegator or a formal authority? Who will say formal authority is one of the best? Formal authority. For me, sir, I guess all of those teaching styles, we really need them. Okay. Sometimes, um, you, you, we cannot predict kana betong sa tong klase nga koan. So, uh, so therefore, I conclude that we need to change or we, we do not need to focus only in one teaching style, but we need to use different styles in order for the students to learn. Do you agree? Okay, when is the best time to do formal authority? Yes, Ma'am MJ. If, sumpaya lang to, if? If, especially, sir, ka nang mag-apas na ka sa kuhan, sir, ba, sa kanang time, like, karon eight week na, okay, it's because of the activity, so, it's very, uh, it's the best time na nga mag-formal teaching na ka, kay, ka nang take time, bidyo ng mga mag-guan kag-activity or groupings. Okay, but in the practical test, are we going to use, uh, di na ta mag, magamit yung mga recall, ha? Harin na ta sa higher order, sa analysis, gawa pa na ito gamitan. Pero, yeah, that's correct, because there's no time anymore, and it's faster, okay? So, when do you use delegator role? Kana mga limpyo, do you use delegator role? Delegate, kamo yung mga limpyo sa inyong mga role? Okay. So, do you agree with the idea of mamagi? Kinaay mo disagree? When we teach ka ng dancing, do we use facilitator? Demonstrate yung gano'n, da yun? Pero ako, di mo kayo mo sayaw, I don't demonstrate. I use formal authority. In fact, what I really said, I will perform. I I tell somebody to perform it, and then use behavioral behavioral principles. Kanang balik balik, di ba? Mo na I learn. Ko an learning by doing, learning by ko an. So mo na yung matong gibuhat. So atong pakpakan ang idea ni mamagi because that is the correct. There is no perfect. Okay. So let's allow Sir Louis to read. Okay. Mo ni ang gingon ni mo mamagi. Sige, pasak na Sir Louis. <laughs> the all-around flexible and adaptable teacher is Mr. Ray Joseph. Okay, given the four teaching, teaching style categories, is it possible for a teacher to be using two or more teaching styles? The answer is? Such a teacher is called 
the all-around flexible and adaptable teacher. Mohana Chambers and Wall describe this teacher as one who can use lots of different skills, can teach both peers and juniors, and is very aware of the whole environment in relation to teaching and the learners. <clears throat> the all-around flexible and adaptable teacher is an effective teacher who can adapt to any of the four teaching styles depending on the subject matter and other variables. This implies that, that as an instructional leader, you need to help your teachers learn and appreciate the different teaching styles and adapt two or more for their teaching repertoire. But before you can do this, this you will need to assist them in finding out their own teaching styles. Okay, so we can adopt these teaching styles depending on the situation. Okay, so teaching styles that will benefit all learners. Atong paspasan lang ha, read one by one. So start, ako yung una, motivate learning by relating the material being presented to the to what has come before and what is still to come in the same class project to material in other subjects and particularly to students' personal experience. Number two, provide a balance, concrete information, facts, data, real experiments, and the results and abstract concepts, principles, theories, and mathematical models. Balance problem-solving methods with simple knowledge level methods. Use pictures, schematics, graphs, and simple sketches literally before, during, and after the presentation of verbal material. If possible, show films or provide demonstrations and hands-on activities. <laughs> I use technology assisted instructions if possible. Do not fill every minute of class time lecturing and writing on the board. Provide the intervals, however brief, for students to think about what they have been told. Okay, provide opportunities for students to do something something active active besides. Writing notes, small group brainstorming activities that take no more than five minutes are extremely effective for this. Assign some drill exercises but do not overdo them. Also provide some open-ended problems and exercises that call for analysis and synthesis. <laughs> Give students the option of cooperating on homework assignments at the greatest possible extent. Upload cre creative solutions even in correct ones. <laughs> Talk to stu students about learning styles to re reassure them that their academic difficulties may not all be due to personal inadequate inadequacies. Explaining to learners how they learn most efficiently may be an important step in helping them reshape their learning experiences so that they can be successful. Okay, so last na tanga part, we will talk about a story. So the class, atong, atong i-request si isa ba to? <laughs> mamdirit, mamdirit. The class was discussing a short story on friendship and social skills. Earlier, the teacher announced that the objective of the discussion was for the students to come up with general conclusion and social skills. Seated in chairs arranged as a letter. Letter U. The students contributed ideas without being called upon. As they spoke, the, student, the teacher wrote their comments on the board. She did not speak, but simply focused on getting the essence of the contributions noted down. After about 10 minutes, she said to the class, Where are we? We need to think about this exchange and see if we can draw some general conclusions out of it. Please review Review the notes I have made on the board. After several minutes of silence, she said, Does anybody see any con connections between these comments? As the students ventured comments, she drew lines and circles. Added numbers, occasionally revising and some sometimes erasing. Students were... Were direct... 
directing their comments and responses to each other. Gradually, some general conclusions emerge, and she asked the students to try forming them into a phrase or, or sentence. She asked three students to write their answers on the board. The class proce proceeded to discuss the merits of each. The one they finally come came up with integrated several of their individual ideas. As you've shared your philosophy a while ago, I've written here certain ideas, okay? Can you come up with a generalization just as in the incident? What general concept can you generalize out from our philosophies? Okay. Sige, tanaw tadi ha. O, oh, kanika, Sir Louie ni. Ningon si Sir B, nga dapat, in order for us to reach out our students, we need to make an environment where they can express themselves. What can you say about all those ideas? Okay, one sentence lang. Generalization, meaning, how do you generalize out from those ideas? Eh? We have different ideas on, I about, about what is good teaching. Our answers are connecting ideas. We have the same goal. Even if our universe diversity in our region doing it, we have the same goal. We have the what is our goal today? See? So all of this actually points to what? We want what? We want the student to A well knowledge to them. So we want students to be knowledge, knowledge now? Skills. Skills. And we want to use them. But in order for us to do that, in order for us to do that, what should we do first? In order for us to really make the students learn, what do we do? Assess ourselves first. Okay, so what I am doing actually is showing to you that case. Okay, how many times have you worn the hat of the facilitator? So only you can answer that. Tonight, as we go home, let's try to imagine how many times have we processed the ideas of our students in a way that we wear the hat of a facilitator. Okay, are we the one giving them the ideas? Kana kana ng gipang share ni mamagi tanan. I know most of yung ideas. Ah, oh. okay. Iyarangi ko an, sulte. Pero that is originally from you, not from me. Okay. So, awa grabi kaya tung reflection ni mamagi. In order, atong goal kaya makatun na mga bata. Pero ang input manggol para makatun na mga bata kita. So what do we need to do? We need to upgrade ourselves. Okay. Yes. Yaa kita mismo. Ah, honestly. Do you think that there are new learnings that we have learned about being a facilitator today? Okay, complex they can ano, mahimong facilitator. Oh, dagang ikaw kauban nga magfacilitate niya. Sila ra sa isigigyaw yaw, wala sila nang facilitate. Sila ra, iya magtuo sila nga facilitator sila. Niya muhipong na sila nawa sila ka pasar sa niyap nga screening. Okay, sige ma. Aside sa mag-upgrade, pasulti ano lang jud ko good. Aside from be upgrading our knowledge sure kay Assessing if, assessing ourselves if, are we really an effective teacher? 
if the, uh, did we really inculcate knowledge to our students nga iga dagko na nila kay nang up until up, uh, wherever they go kana bitaw makakuan sila nato nga kana nakatunjo ko ni ma'am okay so rabi na karon world teachers day and it all starts i hope nga atong i-open ato ang mind ba because here unsa gyud nakita dere kamo ba inyo ba ni ideas acceptance we can never upgrade ourselves if we don't accept Okay, so if I see that you are a person nga murag mudawat gyud og comment back, amo jud ako nabantayan directly proportional siya. Ang tawo gani nga willing kay muhatag mudawat og feedback, most of the grabe kay growth. Pero ang tawo gani nga mursigig deny sa mga feedback, murag iyang resistance siya ba? And that results to so man, lesson ang growth. Okay? So we can only learn if we open ourselves up. I cannot feel a bottle which is already full. Okay, so I didn't know that I had to touch on. So those are our reflections for.